everyone. I just got home from work a few minutes ago and found a couple of boxes waiting for me in the mailbox. Um, one is stuff that I bought that uh, I'm pretty sure you'll like to see. And this one is a from a trade I did with Randy Perkins. And that is a heavy box, ladies and gentlemen. That is a very heavy box. So he's put a lot of good stuff in there. But we're going to go ahead and start out with the uh, one that I purchased just to get it knocked out. Because it's only two locks. But it's two, in my opinion, very cool locks. You can tell plain cardboard box, but I'll flip them around and you can see where it says Junkunk Brothers American. So, really cool locks, guys. These are new old stock. The key is still in the envelope. And that is what the locks look like. They still got the brass chain. They've got the brass shackle. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous lock. Um... I almost don't want to take the key out of the package, but I'm going to. Figure the easiest way to cut this. And you can see it has the old round style key. And it works just like a brand new lock. Fantastic. Oh, these are great. And I got two of them. But these are definitely going in my collection. And here's the other one. Very awesome little locks. But those are definitely going in my collection. And I'm going to hang on to the boxes for them as well. If I get that envelope back in there. I'll set these boxes over here for now. Alright, so let's look at the meat of everything here. That was the, uh, the glitter on top. Let's go ahead and uh, see what the meat of the package is. Oh man, and there's a bunch of locks in here. <laughs> I'm just going to pull them out one at a time. Really cool. A trio ving. That ought to be a good one to get into. Does have a little bit of a wobble there, but uh, yeah, I should be able to pick that as a, a seven pinner probably. Really cool oval cylinder. That's awesome. And then, hey, another one of these Americans with a really long shackle. I recently had one of these from uh, Random Locks, but I don't think the shackle is quite so long. And I can't hold it side by side because I've already traded it off. But uh, I love American Locks. Set that over there with those. And that long shackle is still pretty darn cool. Um, a Master 6835. Uh, same type of lock that I'm giving away in my uh, 200 subscriber special. I love these are fun picks, really fun. And what's this one? Oh my! Randy's my new best friend, man. We got a multi lock, and it looks like I see some uh, serrations on some of those uh, key pins. So five pinner. Oh yeah, that's going to be some good times. Except the key doesn't want to work. Oh wait a minute, I probably slid it. One, yeah, I slid it in one slot too many. It doesn't have the stopper on the back. Very, very cool. Definitely not a candidate for out-of-the-box picking, but uh, it'll be coming up too before too long. And a Zone Euro Cylinder. I've never heard of this brand before. 
Or maybe I have, but I don't think I've seen just the Euro cylinder. It's a Yale style keyway, pretty paracentric. A little bit of a difficult bidding, but not too terrible. That'll be a fun one to get into. It's one thing Randy did tell me. He did, he did say he wasn't sending a whole lot of challenge locks, and he's, most of what he was sending was stock. But if these are the stock locks he's sending, the caliber of these, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty damn happy, guys. Ooh, nice. Really nice, a Lockwood Oval. Not much of a bidding on the key. <laughs> I think he did tell me that. Wow, that is like one of the worst biddings I've ever seen. But it's a Lockwood. Still should be a pretty nice pick. Especially since I'm going to have to lift all these pins up so far. Okay, and right here I've got a Y1. It's a Challenge Lock, no name, ERA. Not a terrible bidding. Pretty good, actually. Six pinner. It does hang up a little bit in the middle, but not too terribly bad. That'll be a fun one to get into. Let's see here. They keep on coming, guys. And what in the world? I, I've never seen this logo or quite that. Keyway, that is a pretty wicked keyway. Here you can see some of the uh, wording there, if I turn it that way. I could probably still stick a 15,000 in there fairly easy, but man. I don't, I don't know what brand this is, so uh, if anybody knows, go ahead and let me know. It has some sort of like break-off feature here too. Maybe, if that's what that is. I'm just guessing. Six-pinner. Another cool lock. Oh, my, my. Oh, this is my uh, Union Padlock coming back to me. This is the one that uh, Pete Restall pinned up, and uh, um, I won it from him in one of his giveaways. And uh, I loaned it out to Bobby Keys and to uh, Randy Perkins to let, let them pick on it. It's just him sending it back to me. Awesome lock, by the way. It'll definitely go proudly right back onto the shelf. And we've still got more to go. How many locks did he fit in here? A bunch. Another Isaiah. Uh, I remember the last Isaiah I had was a uh, pretty evil little sucker. Um, and once you picked it, it didn't want to work. And uh, I thought I'd actually traded that off to steel pinnings, but I, I was looking around in my box and I, I found it still sitting in there. So maybe the one of steel pinnings got wasn't the same one, but the key doesn't work in this one. But that's no big deal. Still be fun to pick. Just a five pinner, but it is a very long Euro cylinder. Cool stuff. And I got one more lock. And uh, this one is pinned by Crispy Bear. I have never had one of Crispy Bear's locks before. And it should be a fun one. It is another Azeo. And my, my. Look at that bidding, folks. That's, that's a pretty wild bidding. Hmm. It's stiff to turn, but there's no ticks. It is smooth, but it is stiff to turn for some reason. It's probably hanging up on the, uh, maybe the tailpiece back there. Really cool. I'm glad to have a Crispy Bear. I've never had one of his. Uh, Randy, you sent me some really awesome stuff here. I mean... Geez, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten locks, man. Yeah, ten. <laughs> I don't know which one I want to try to pick first. Um, definitely not going to be the trio Ving. I know those are kind of tough to get into. Um, the Zeo. You know what? I'm a glutton for punishment, and I love these Lockwoods. I'm going to try to pick this Lockwood out of the box. It doesn't have a fantastic bidding. 
I hope that uh, doesn't seem uh, <laughs> too odd, but yeah, there's the bidding again. Not real awesome, but that does mean I gotta lift every pin. Um, oh, one more thing before I pick this. I do want to give you guys an update on the uh, homemade picks that I'm giving away. Um, I didn't have them finished when I uh, did the uh, video on them, but I've got them finished now. Uh, they've all got dipped rubber handles, and as you can see, they've been polished up, and they're good for use now. So, But here's one of the hooks. Here's another hook, and... This is probably my favorite shape hook that I make. And then you get this really deep DeForest Diamond. And then you get a shallow DeForest Diamond. But uh, they all have rubberized handles now. And that rubber is pretty grippy. So it's easy to hang on to them. Alright, so now that I've done that little bit of update. Oh, and there's going to be another update to that too. I forgot. Um, I can't believe I forgot it either. Um, whoever wins that is also going to get a pick case for them uh, a small pick case pouch and that pouch is actually coming from pick me 1977 he is going to embroider have your name embroidered on it so whoever wins also gets a uh, pick case that is embroidered in in order to uh, win that one you have to put a comment on my video where i uh, am giving giving this item away and let's see here. So I've talked enough. But yeah, I'm really impressed with how those picks come out. And I think I might actually use one here. And I'm looking for, there it is, my 40,000th pry bar. Yeah, they're all moving up. None of them really feel like they're binding, so I'm just increasing pressure a little bit. It's actually the first stock Lockwood I've ever picked, guys. So, okay, I was just feeling around in there. I'm going to have to actually go with a little bit tighter tension to get some feedback. Okay, there's pin one. Okay, back to the front. Pin two. Okay, that was four. Just trying to get my best feel for this here. And there we go, we got her open. Um, you know, I wasn't calling my pins out, I was actually concentrating on it a little bit. I mean, was, like I said, this is the first uh, stock lock wood I've ever picked. And normally I try to do a better job of calling out my pins, and it slows me down a little bit. But there we go, we are picked on that one, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the pins. And uh, believe it or not, I was... 
I was torquing this tension bar over. I don't know if you could tell or not, but I was torquing this tension bar over enough to bend it that much, guys. I mean, it was really, really bending. I was putting real strong tension on it. And on some of these tight tolerance locks with standards, I feel that's what I got to do to them. Okay, let's see if my normal follower will fit. Ooh, that's tight. That's too tight. <clears throat> Let me see if a Sparrow's follower will fit it any better. I've got a couple of them I could try. <clears throat> oh, that fits. Okay, so we do see all five pins. It is actually... a available to be uh, pinned up for six but uh, let's go ahead and dump these out and take a look and stuff is rolling around on me and I'll zoom in on the pins and take a closer look at them once I get them all out of here just like normal and they are, are all tapered and they're tapered a little bit more wildly than I figured they would be uh, no counter milling or anything Okay, and the top pins, I uh, assume they're all going to be standards. I didn't feel any security pins in there in this thing at all. Alrighty, there's all five pins. And it is pinned for six, so I don't know. I might see if I can get this thing to work with, set, with uh, six pins at when I'm done with it. All right, so let's go ahead and show you all the uh, hubbub about the uh, Lockwoods. Um, a, they've got very, very tight tolerances. Um, and B, you can also see what sets their key pins apart. All of their key pins are tapered on the top, just slightly tapered. Enough to cause you to go past the shear line when you're picking them and, um, you know, overset a pin fairly easily. The only way to combat tight tolerances with tapered pins is, in my opinion, I mean, somebody's going to tell me I'm wrong. I believe it. I, somebody is. But my opinion is extremely heavy spring tension, especially if you think that everything in the lock is going to be standards. Now, if it was going to be security pins in here, I would not have gone with uh, extremely heavy tension. But I was just doing that to kind of get a feel for it. And once I got the feel, I could tell that there was no security pins in it. Anyway, guys, that's what uh, is in this Lockwood that Randy sent me. Randy Perkins. This big pile of locks you sent is freaking awesome, dude. And my hat's off to you. Thank you very much. Um, I was actually starting to run out of locks to new locks to pick for everybody. So the timing on this was perfect. So everyone, please stay safe. Thanks again, Randy. And don't do anything illegal. And please like and subscribe.